Welcome back. This is, I believe, week eight to our 12 weeks of Christmas. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute horse using this candy cane. So let's get started on that. First we're going to start with the stocking die that's in our mini catalog and you need two of these so we're going to cut them out with our early espresso and you can excuse you you can cut both of them at once so you run them through the big shot I just did one because I have one already prepped. So we're going to get that out of the way. Now you are going to use all these pieces. This is the top of the stocking and what you're going to do with this piece is you're going to cut it down to one inch. So you're going to put it in your cutter and cut it so it's one inches wide. Then on your stocking pieces, what you're going to do is on the heel, toe, and the stocking itself, you are going to ink it, sponge it with the Early Espresso ink. And you're going to go all the way around. And you're going to do that to all the pieces. It just gives a little bit more dimension. Let me bring my sock in here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is assemble your um, reindeer. So I'm going to take the heel, or actually the toe, and, oh shoot, I put that upside down. Good thing I got a spare here. We're going to have to sponge this for a minute. It's going to have to go like, we want it on our thing like this, and it's going to be this direction, so we need it to be, where's my sponge? Quick sponge this one up. It's going to be like, oh shoot, I still did the wrong side. This is the tricky part getting your sides going in the right. So we're going to put the toe on. I keep thinking. And then we're going to put the ear on. Since I got this one done, See if I can get this ear in the same area. And we just want tape, you just want adhesive towards the bottom part because the rest is going to be sticking up right. So let's match this up like this. That way my ears are in the same spot. Now we're going to go ahead and make his mane right here and how you do that is you're going to put adhesive down the side like this. You are going to take the word window punch and you're going to punch out a bunch of the word windows and then you're going to take a scissors and you're just going to cut them in half and you're going to start to make his mane. I'm working from the back, but if it's easier to for you to look at the front. And you can place those any direction you want, as long as you want. Whoops. I'm having a hard time picking them off the table. Keep the one down. Okay. 
And you can probably stop about there because then this is already cut down to one inch. You're going to go ahead and attach this to the bottom. So let's do that. Like so. Now to make his eye, you're going to take the 3 4 inch circle punch and some white. Punch that out. You're going to take some early espresso, punch that out, and then you're going to take another little, this is our quarter inch punch. Now on the early espresso, what you're going to do is you're going to cut that in half. And what you're going to do is sponge. Your fingernails will get all nice and brown. And you're going to stick, you're going to take a dimensional, take one of these, and you want just a little piece from the side here. And you're going to put that on, that's basically his eyelid. You're going to take the little eyeball, stick it like that. Take this. Put that there like that. Take our cool white gel pen and make a little mark like that. And let's see here. I'm going to stick that on like so. And now we're going to make his reins. So the easiest way is just to run your adhesive all the way across. I have a piece of our dotted um, cherry cobbler and you're going to put that all the way across. It's five and a half inches and then, whoops I forgot a step here. Because we want it attached like this we need to bring this around we're going to hook our two horses together. So you're going to do that, both of them the same way. You're going to attach that down like that. And stuck it to the Fold this on your tape. Like that. Come in with your paper piercer and you're going to go through all those layers and attach a brad so that will hold all your ribbons in place if I can get it in. There we go. Fan that out in the back. Whoops, sorry. So, you will have, your horses will be hooked together. Now you have them done. Now we have to create the box for our candy cane. So what you're going to do for, okay, so now we're going to make the box part to fit our candy cane in. You're going to start with a piece of early espresso cardstock that is cut five inches by nine and a quarter. You're going to put it in the Simply Score pail and you're going to score it at one and a quarter and at three and three quarters. Turn it and score it at five and then again at five and a quarter. Now you're going to put it in and you're going to score it at now let's see, I need a quarter, two and a half, and you're going to score it down to one and a quarter. So use your guide on the side and kind of gauge that. Turn it around and do the same thing, two and a half down to one and a quarter. And then put it in here and go from one and a quarter down to that two and a half. And then on this side, you'll go from eight 
down to two and a half. So you have two boxes here, two boxes here, and then this little L shape. Now you're going to start by cutting the center. So you're going to, when it's alongside like this, you're going to cut both of those lines up to the score line. Turn it, do the same on this side, up to the score line. Now, on this side, you are going to cut out this corner box like that, and you're going to cut up to the score line for this one. So we have that tab there. Over on this side, you're going to cut on the end, both of these up to the score line like that. So you have these two tabs, these two tabs, and this tab here. What you're going to do is you're going to take your sticky strip and you're going to run sticky strip along here, here, and here, just like this. Here, here, and here. Then on this side, you're going to run it in this little L shape because that's where you're going to attach your horse piece. So now let's go ahead and assemble this box. So we're going to put our tabs in here. Take off these side pieces, okay, fold these in, these tabs go in, bring this up, and secure your sides, just like that. Okay, now I would recommend putting your candy cane holder in now. Fold in your side flaps. Take off that red line tape. Okay, so now your candy cane is in there. It's not going to slide out because we made the little end cap here. Now you can go ahead and peel this red line off. And we can assemble our horse. Make sure that when you put your horse together on here that your ribbon is not all twisted up. And what you're going to do is you're going to attach it right to the bottom. It's going to overlap just a little bit. And you're going to bring it in like that. You see that? Now the tricky part is going to get to match this piece up. So you're going to take the red line off this. This is the hardest part probably is getting this red line tape off. So just like that. There we whoops. <laughs> there we have our little horse. Now what I did on this one is I made this little tag here. A Christmas greeting was something for eating. Very quick and easy. You're just going to take the stamp um, because I used cherry cobbler ribbon. I'm going to use cherry cobbler ink. Stamp that. 
take our scallop square punch punch that out take our 1 16th inch punch, punch a hole thread some linen thread through there Just go ahead and tie that on his little rein there. And there you have this super cute little horse. My nephews are going to love this. Thanks for stopping by.